Shimei Shai are gonna they're gonna build according to the foundation that Yahweh Shai laid. They're gonna build the right way. They're gonna continue the building of Yahweh Shai's foundation, right? Now you got certain Israelites that are simply not doing that. When you make statements like Yahweh Shai didn't do the miracles that he that he uh, did, you are not building according to the foundation of Yahweh Shai. Okay, you are not building according to the foundation of the of uh, Yahweh Shai. Anyway, reading on it says for. Other foundation can no man lay. Yeah, there's only one foundation. That was Yahweh Shai's foundation. Other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai. There you go. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, uh, gold, silver, precious stone, so that's the members of the elect. They're likened unto gold, silver, and precious stones. See the word precious which reminds me of the scripture. Precious are the faith of the elect. That's talking about. Uh, well, actually, it says precious are the faith of the saints, but the saints begin with the elect. Now, what I just read there, if you go in Malachi, it pretty much says the same thing. Malachi, the third chapter, talking about the elect, right? Malachi three and sixteen. Let's start there. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. That book of remembrance is the Bible because it brings us back to our remembrance of who we are, remembrance of our culture, right? Uh, so book of remembrance was written before them that feared the Lord, right? And that thought upon his name, which at the end of the day, ultimately, that's the elect. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. So again, goes back to the elect. In that day when I make up my jewels. Now, the Apostle Paul just said, if any man build upon the foundation, meaning bring in other members of the elect, then he likens them unto what? Gold, silver, precious stones. It's the same thing Malachi is saying here. What the Heavenly Father is saying. When he make up his jewels. So he used Apostle Paul back then to help set up his jewels. And fast forward more than 2,000 years later, the Lord is using us here at Great Millstone to make up his jewels okay when I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him spare them from what from the coming destruction through what through those so called UFOs the chariots of the Lord right the delivered or the elect are going to be delivered Matthew 24 and 30 right by Yahweh through those so called UFOs the chariots of the Lord right then shall he return and discern between the riches, between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the heavenly Father and him that serveth him not. So that's what the elect is able to do. The elect has that discernment to discern between who is serving the Father and who isn't. And that's among all the Israelite groups out there. Okay. So again, when we read. 1 Corinthians 3 and 12. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, that's the jewels that the Heavenly Father is talking about through the prophet Malachi, which we just read. Then it goes on to say wood, hay, and stubble. Wood, hay, and stubble is not part of the jewels. Okay? Wood, hay, and stubble is not part of the jewels. They're not, therefore, they're not part of the elect. Now, here's the point. The 13th verse, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. So what's the fire? And that goes...